アンソニーとしても知られているザ・スーパービッグマイケルとしても知られているザ・ミラクルラシラウンレビューザ・ウィッチアンドザ・ハンドレッドナイトリバイバルエディション Hey guys, welcome to the Rushdown Review for The Witch and the Hundred Night Revival Edition. This is an enhanced PS4 port of the original PS3 title that came out a few years ago. And it has new bells and whistles and modes and things like that. So we're going to just talk about the things we liked and the things we didn't like. So, first up, I want to just talk about how the game looks overall.、Um, I like the way the art direction is done. It's a really cool art direction. I Did not play the original game, so this is all pretty new to me.、Um, I like the way the game has this really eerie feel to it, but it's still very whimsical and fun. Very similar to like a Tim Burton film, but this is usual. This is like the usual aesthetic they use for a lot of NES games, like this guy and La Pucelle and things like that.、Um, I really enjoyed、um, just how the game looked overall.、Um, I know that the game has like a graphical overhaul as far as the, you know, the looks and the textures and lighting effects, and it looked really good on the PS4, especially the animations look good as well. I also want to talk about the combat and gameplay because that's probably one of the biggest things about this game. I really enjoyed the combat for it.、Um, at first, I was a little taken back by having this really little minuscule character,、um, the Hundred Knight. But as I started playing it, it got really fun, especially being able to customize my attacks and things like that.、Um, you're given options to place particular weapons at a different slot, and these slots are used to do like really cool combos. So you can pretty much mix and match different. Um, types of weapons and stuff like that, and that helps to keep the variety up because oftentimes when you fight monsters, they have different、um, types of weapons they're weak and、um, strong against. So it's always good to、um, mix up your combos and things and pretty much mix up the type of weapons you have equipped at the time.、And、I thought it was a really cool feature because it lets the game. Be completely customizable to your particular playstyle, and you don't get bogged down by feeling like you have to play a specific way. And I did enjoy just overall the exploration and things like that, as far as going through the dungeons and fighting new stuff, and just overall just exploring the map and, and stuff like that. I thought that was really fun. I thought it was really cool the way they did it in this game. Another thing I really enjoyed was the witch domination, which is pretty much you going into someone's house and you pretty much take over the house. It becomes yours, or mainly the things in the house become yours. I thought this was a kind of funny feature to have in the game because it's really like ridiculous how it happens, but it does play into the actual like role of the, the witch and how her whole deal is with her being like this really crazy witch lady. So you're pretty much just her hired henchman to go around during her bidding, pretty much. And taking over houses is pretty much a really big portion of this game. You actually can take over、um, the witch's house too, but you need to be at a really, really high level. And it's very, very hard to get to that level at the beginning of the game. So you won't be able to take over her house anytime soon. But it's just nice to know that she's actually, you know, an option, you know. Um, another thing I really enjoyed was the music. The music in the game is really nice. It's kind of funny. Like I said, the Tim Burton reference.、Um, I think it really fits the atmosphere of the game a lot. So, overall, I liked just playing the game and looking at it was really fun. And, oh, I have to mention the characters are really zany and over the top and ridiculous, too.、Um, Metalia,、um, the witch who you work with,、um, she's really just over the top. She just curses and she swears and she just uses foul language. And, and then the butler guy, he's funny, too. I just like how, like, He's just unamused by everything. He's just that's there, just like, you know, comic relief when she's just doing zany stuff. He kind of comes in and, like, very monotone right after her. And it's just a lot of crazy, weird, silly ridiculousness when it comes to the characters in the story.、And、I think it just fits the type of game because it's not a very serious game. It comes off as a very weird, wacky game. And it doesn't present itself anything but. So I did enjoy that aspect of it. Now, I'm going to talk about a couple things I didn't like.、Um, and these are mainly things as far as the gameplay is concerned.、Um, one thing I really didn't like was the tutorial in the very beginning of the game. The tutorial was probably one of the worst I've ever seen. Like, it's not so much how they explain it to you, it's mainly how they set up everything. Like, each portion of the tutorial, you have to do a specific action and you can't move on, which is fine. But... It even goes to the point where it makes you feel like you're being, like, you're kind of like, I don't know, stupid or unintelligent, or this may be your very first video game you ever played in your life. So it does kind of 
seem a little condescending in the way that they presented the tutorial system and it's just really like like every so often you have to stop and go and stop and go and stop and go so it's like the battle and the, the fluidity of the gameplay gets taken down in the very beginning just by just having to stop and hear a tutorial and keep going it just happens so frequently and then Natalia isn't really great at explaining things thoroughly through in the actual like in-game story so it's just really frustrating in the beginning I actually didn't want to play it first just by the tutorial alone but I'm glad to actually uh, suffer through it but the tutorial is probably one of my least favorite things about this game and also the camera I know this is one of the things they actually tried to address in the original game was the camera angles but even trying to like adjust the camera there are still portions of the game especially in these thick forests that you go through that the camera really doesn't help like you can be in a battle with like a whole bunch of enemies at one point and you're trying to swivel the camera around but the trees are still in the way no matter which angle you decide to use so it really doesn't help i think that this particular i think angle that they use which is a top down angle for the game is really nice when it works but unfortunately since this game is used in like the, the type of game design they use for like the areas and the dungeons there's always some type of like thing obstructing your view so oftentimes the camera is like useless because you can pretty much not even see what's going on this is really bad for like if you got like a whole bunch of enemies or if there's like a new enemy that you've never fought before and you're trying to figure out a right course of action to def defeat it so i think the camera was an issue that came up more than i liked it to now i wish they would have found a better way to i guess address that maybe i don't know zoom in or zoom out because i think zooming out so far the you see all the trees and stuff and it gets in the way so yeah the camera definitely didn't like um other than that I would say this is a really good game, especially the stuff they added to it for this port. Being able to play with the witch and the um, t and the new mode they added, um, just overall graphical upgrades and things like that. I think it's a really cool title. It's definitely a lot of fun to play. Like actually playing the game is fun. The boss fights are really cool. Um, just overall gameplay, great stories, funny. It's weird. It's ridiculous. Uh, it fits the game really nice. I would just say that the camera can be frustrating in the the tutorial can be almost like game breaking to me like it really does it's, it's really hard to get through at first so yeah so thanks for listening to my review tell us what you think about the game um how, how are you having fun with it and where you think about it and maybe you want to play it or whatnot let us know in the comments below thanks for tuning in and check us out on our website at www.rushdownradio.net for more info and we'll see you next time